This is Fantastic Season 3. Your character is terrifying. Um, Dolores, the first couple episodes that I watched, she's just on this killing spree. She <laughs> is. For a reason. Yes. <laughs> I think what's 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 interesting about her arc this season, the, the second season, it was about escape and mm -hmm. and strategy and that the Wyatt side of her came out and it was just the end goal. And I think this season, now that she has found a sense of freedom, she gets to decide who she is. But now we really get to see more of what she's capable of because presumably now she's in the real world. Right. She's able to be whoever she wants. Mm. Um, presumably she would have encountered a lot of people in the park over those 30 years. And we know that she has a perfect memory. Yeah. So God help you if you're one of the people that she remembers from the park. <laughs> She's like a true Italian. Like it's just like yeah. it's all about There's like, like some Dexter vengeance. vibes going on. Yeah, you know? Yeah. A little bit of Robin Hood, but on a killing spree. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Come in. And tell me about your character. What can we expect? Uh, what can I say? Yeah, um, you, say? you I, I, yeah, what can I say? Um, I think that it will be, uh, my character is one that you're sort of unsure who is inside of her at the beginning of the season. Um, I th she's a whole new, she's a whole new hail, I mm -hmm. guess I'll say. She's sort of, Evan said it best in terms of, you know, the, the end of last season was sort of rebirth. Um, so when we meet this iteration of Hale, she's sort of in her infancy in the beginning of the show, and she's like uh, some kind of toddler yeah. by the end of it, and uh, a very, you know, fascinating toddler. <laughs> so Tina, <laughs> that you don't know. I what, like that. That's a really good way of putting it. What the toddler's it. after? Um, a very powerful <laughs> toddler. A very powerful toddler. <laughs> Uh, so Tandy said that this is this is almost like where it really begins. Like season three mm -hmm. is like where this whole different mm -hmm. world, right? Can you expand on that a little bit? It's like premiering a new show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The characters are constantly evolving and the environment is always evolving. And Joan and Lisa have always said that the audience won't know more than the hosts themselves know. So the way the show has progressed has also been how the hosts are progressing and their awakening to their reality and to their need for freedom and now into presumably the real world. And now everyone's, like you said, kind of a fish out of water. They're kind of back to something new and, yeah. and a beginning almost. Um, and I think we're really going to see what everyone is capable of in a very different way. And you have some new faces on the show. Mm. What, like four new people? Four new You've got a lot of new members? people. Yeah, got, Even more than that. More than four, yeah. Vincent Cassell, yeah. Aaron Paul, Lena Wayne. Yeah. We, we, we got a lot of people. Mar Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn. Marshawn Lynch. Which is crazy. The best, That's by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, As veterans, yeah. like, what did you, did you have to educate them on what they can expect <laughs> filming Westworld? When Aaron came <laughs> on, I remember everyone just sort of would say, oh, yeah. welcome. Welcome, sir. And he's like, why does everyone keep preparing me for yeah. what this is? And then towards the end of the of shooting, he goes, oh, I understand. You guys are not playing around. Yeah. Yeah, Lena yeah, yeah. said the same thing. She's it's like, you guys do not play on the show like no we have like 10 movies to film in six months yeah it's, right. it's grueling yeah it's i was really gonna intense. say like is it like a super aggressive schedule or just the yeah. intensity of yeah. the acting day to day right Both. all of it Both. all of it all of the above yeah it's it's really truly blood sweat and tears for every every department for every, everyone yeah, involved every, every yeah. single person I, i've never seen people work harder you know under such pressure and be happy to work hard which is cool i yeah, think it's a, mm -hmm. it's a t it's a testament to how much everybody loves the show and is invested in the story, but yeah. you know, but it's it's intense. I like the 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 term or the, the the turn of phrase. Welcome to Westworld is said a lot. Yeah, on the yes in real life. I love that. <laughs> you know, when last minute you're like you're shooting this and you're like welcome, welcome to, to Westworld. Westworld. <laughs> so it's really fun. To, it was fun to say that this season to a bunch of people like in earnest, and then right. you had to say it throughout the whole season when it's they true. get like like is this in normal? And you're like well. <laughs> Yeah. So is there anything that you guys do to kind of break that intensity on set? Because it is a lot. I mean, you know, play hours and hours a day. Yeah, play heads up. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. It's great. Yeah, there's games. There's games. 
Just people giggles. People keep it light. We try to keep it light. Yeah. Like, as much as possible, I think. My dog came to set a lot this season. <gasps> Coltrane. I'm in love with her dog. He's like a little rescue guy. Oh. He's not that little. He's like 22 he's... pounds. But he's cool, man. He just like walks around set. Everyone he's obsessed knows him. with her. It's so cute. <laughs> Everyone hangs out with him. It's nice. A little Westworld dog. I love it. Love it. So Our well, obviously dog. this is about... You know, t- technology, our over-reliance on technology. Is there anything that you guys use, like, way too much that you would say you rely on far too much? Postmates. <gasps> oh, Postmates oh. and Maps. I don't I don't know anybody's number anymore. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. And um, I don't go out to eat anymore because <laughs> Postmates. Postmates, Postmates. <laughs> ruined me. It's bad. I have Postmates, like, it's gotten beyond food. Like mm-hmm. I post mates everything. everything. Just like all sorts of things. Everything. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can post mates like CVS, can't you? You can literally oh. you can pretty yes. much you can. <laughs> you can post mates from Party City, which I just figured out. So I mean it's like it's out of control. It's really bad. It's out of control. It's yeah. so fun. I love it so much. <laughs> I don't cook at all, so like that's my whole that's my whole life. This is just a postmates uh hi postmates. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. And postmates. I'm a single mom, so postmates I don't know how what did people do before you could just like order food well, to the I house? I have no idea. I, I don't want I don't want to know actually. Yeah, I really <laughs> don't. About it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.